Imagine you've just built this beautiful scene and now you want a smooth camera animation to showcase all the details you've worked so hard on. If you've ever animated cameras in Blender, you already know the struggle of fiddling with the curves, building a rig or endlessly tweaking keyframes and it just totally kills your creative flow. That's exactly why I created AutoCam, a free Blender add-on that turns hours of frustrating camera setup into a few effortless clicks. Let me show you how it works. Let's start with the use case of showcasing a character. Installing the add-on is very simple. Just go to Edit, Preferences, and make sure you're in the Add-on section. In this little drop-down menu, select Install from Disk. Navigate to where you've downloaded the add-on and select the .zip add-on file and then click on Install from Disk. This process may look a little different if you're in an older version of Blender, but that's basically how it's done. Once you're done, make sure you have it enabled and you're good to go. Now suppose you want to have a camera animation that does a little turntable from the bottom of the character, loops around him something like this, and then zooms out to reveal the full character. Building the rig manually using curves and object constraints is a really time consuming and often frustrating process. Press N to bring up this side panel and then click on the auto cam menu. Under generation, you'll see your currently selected camera name and then this area called camera POV recording, which will let you record all of your camera movements like playing a video game. If you click start recording, it'll play the timeline and then you can press W, A, S, D, Q and E to move in all directions. Let's quickly record the movement we had in mind. And as you can see, I'm not putting much effort into it, but that's the beauty of this workflow. You don't need to be perfect at all. Once you think you're done, just make sure to press the escape button twice. The first one gets you out of the fly through and the second one stops the recording and confirms it. You'll notice how it creates a bunch of keyframes for each frame of your timeline. And if you're aware, this is using the same technique of turning on auto keying in Blender, playing the timeline and moving the camera to record the changes. This built-in technique works fine for quick previews, but as you probably know, it offers almost no control afterward. So you're stuck redoing everything if you want precise adjustments later. This is where my add-on comes in with its first feature, the camera path extraction. If you click on this generate curve button with the camera selected, the add-on will create a custom curve following the animation of the camera. You'll see a new settings section where you can set a tolerance value and then click on the apply path settings button to simplify your curve and smooth out the rough points. The next and most important feature that comes after creating the curve is generating the camera rig, which is just a simple click and you'll immediately see how the camera rig is generated and follows the path we just extracted. Let's give it a play to see if it's any better than what we started with. For reference, this is what the original recording looked like. I've made sure to make this rig as robust as possible. The spherical empty object acts as your camera's permanent focal target, making precise framing very simple no matter where your camera moves. And the empty axis that lies inside it is to control the focal point of the camera, allowing you to independently change the depth of field distance while still being locked on to your target. At any point, you can also change the spline type in the settings to suit your needs. And the tolerance can always be driven down if you want some of the original details back. You can also go into edit mode, make changes to the curve, and if you hit the apply button while still being in edit mode, it'll remember all of your changes at the current tolerance value. The interpolation of the camera animation can be changed right here, and it works directly without any apply buttons. Same goes for speed, so let's bump it up to 2 for this example. Much better. If we want the same tracking as the initial recording where it first looks at the legs and then slowly pans up to the face, we can add keyframes to the look at object, first at the beginning of the timeline here and somewhere right about here. Let's check it now and tweak it if necessary. We can also tweak the curve in edit mode and see the changes live. And we can also decide to animate the focus object to create a nice blur in effect at the beginning. Very nice. If you ever want to discard all of the changes you made to the curve and go back to the original camera path, you can hit this reset button next to the apply button and according to the tolerance that you set here, it'll revert back to the original curve and your changes will be overwritten. Lastly, if you want precise control over exactly how long the animation should be, you can select the little dolly object that the camera is parented to, select its last keyframe and set it exactly where you want it. If you then press the sync speed to keyframe button, It'll update the speed value to reflect the frame range. 
feel free to rename the generated collections and objects. Everything is designed to fit neatly into your existing workflow. And if you wish to remove all of the objects generated by the add-on and start fresh, you can click on clear all rigs in the danger zone to remove them in a single click. You can then turn on the viewport and render visibility of the original camera and set it back to being the active camera to undo all of the changes made by the add-on. By now, you've seen how this add-on can take your quick rough shots and turn them into clean controllable rigs so you can spend less time bogged down in technical adjustments and more time actually creating. Now, let's see how it all comes together. Here's a full camera sequence built using AutoCam inside a finished scene so you can get a sense of how it works in a real project. Record the rough walkthrough, convert it into a path, create the rig, adjust the curve, keyframe the look at object and add some camera tilt and just like that you've got a beautiful complex camera animation across an entire scene all in under 5 minutes. So just to recap, you first record and then extract a curve, generate a rig and refine all with full control and minimal manual work. This add-on has been an absolute game changer in my workflow and I wanted you to have the same flexibility without any restrictions. So these primary features of AutoCam are always going to be free with free updates in the future as well. In return, all I ask is that you use it, create something amazing, share it with other artists and if you're able to, consider leaving a small tip to support future development and help me bring even more game changing tools to life. I already have a bunch of new features planned for the next version and if you run into any bugs or have any suggestions, just drop a comment below or feel free to reach out directly to me as well. Check the links in the description and the pinned comments for all the places you can get this add-on from. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing, I have more tools and tutorials on the way. Thanks for watching and if this add-on becomes part of your workflow, I'd love to see what you create.